All right, guys, it's time for our next little project. So what we'll be building today is this little text animation right here. We'll be using Animate.js in order to uh, animate each of these individual letters and create this pretty good looking effect. In my opinion, you can trigger it on click. That's what we do today. You can also use it as a hover effect or uh, just uh, loop the animation and just use it like that. Um, so let's get right into it. So first thing we need to do is set up our index.html file and our styles. Um, that's pretty simple. I won't bother you with that today. Um, so what I did here is just a link to our CSS style sheet, which is right here. And I also linked our JavaScript file and obviously the anime.js library. And then this is the more important part right there. Um, so what we'll do is um, create two links, one of which has the class of link and the other one has link two. And then each individual letter will be in a div with a class of letter or letter two in this case, just so we have two examples. Um, that's essentially how we'll be building these links. We need each of these divs in order to target the letters individually and animate them. That's it for the HTML. Um, our style sheet is also pretty simple, just some very general styles, just some um, uh, font families and colors, um, just so it's a little nicer to look at. Um, as you can see, nothing is working so far, it's just HTML and CSS. And what we will be concentrating on is our animation.js file right there. So the very first thing uh, we would do is just write document dot add event listener and in this case we want to listen for dom content loaded and just fire a whoops call a function there um, okay let's just see whether this works Da -dum -da -dum, console. Let's reload. Yeah, all right, that's working. So our uh, JavaScript file is being recognized. That's good. Um, I added this DOM content loaded event listener just to make sure that all of our DOM is loaded before we start manipulating things in our JavaScript. Um, just let, let us add a comment there, link. So the first thing we'll be doing is animate this link right here, which is the contact link. And in order to do this, uh, we'll first obviously need to target the link. So what we'll do is document dot query selector. And we'll just target it with the class of link. Um, that's, that's essentially just targeting our um, a tag right there. So once that is done, the next thing we'll need to do is add a event listener to this link. And in this case, we obviously want to look for, actually, let's just change these as well. There we go. So we want to look for a click event and just call a function there. Again, let's just check whether this works. Da -dum -da -dum. Let's see console. Let's reload and click on our content. As you can see, it's counting the clicks. That's good. So our event listener is working. Now in here, what we want to do is uh, target the individual letters because that's what we want to animate. So what we do is a new um, variable and we will just look for link dot query selector. So inside of the link that we have selected, we want to use the query selector again and look for the class letter, which will effectively just target all of these individual letters there. Um, and now we can start animating by first of all using a anime.js timeline. Actually, 
um, animate.js um, make sure to check out the animate.js um, documentation which is right here um, it's really helpful you can just look through these uh, um, different categories and just learn about animate.js it's very nicely done actually um, just take a look at it I think it's it's quite helpful um, so um, that's also where you can like learn a bit more about timelines and stuff but it's actually pretty simple so we create this timeline and we set a target um, and the target will obviously be letter because that's uh, that's the elements that we want to um, animate so we have this timeline and we'll start by adding the very first animation to this timeline just by saying dot add and the first animation that we'll be working on is essentially the animation that goes from uh, right to left and then we go from left from wait from right to left and then from right to left again yeah actually but there are two animation one goes out and one goes in again as you can see so those are the two animations that we need we can actually already write that down here so these are the two animations the very first one um, will be translate on the x-axis and we'll just say go from 0 to minus 30 pixels that is and the opacity will obviously go from 1 because it's visible to 0 to becoming invisible. We'll use uh, easing and that's something we can actually write down here. Easing uh, will be ease in expo. So everything that we write down here in this timeline uh, will will be um, used for both of these animations. So that's why we write easing down right there because they both have the same easing function. Um, duration will um, duration will just be like um, half a second. And then we obviously need some delay because we are uh, targeting all of these letters and they'll be animated individually. They also need some delay in order to create this kind of delayed effect that we have there. Um, so the way we do this is just use a function for it. Um, and we will just say return 30 times i. The uh, i variable will just uh, represent whatever letter we are on. So the very first one will just have 60 uh, millis at 30 milliseconds of delay and the second one will have 60 and so on and that's how we create this delayed effect um, well for the second animation actually let's just take a look at how this looks all right <laughs> so as you can see we're animating one letter which is the c that's not really what we want and this is the error right here um, query selector all we need because we want to select all of these letters and not just the very first element there so this should fix it let's see there we go that's our first animation obviously our link is gone that's not what we wanted um, so the second animation we can just um, add this there and in this case we'll go backwards let's say from 40 to 0 so back to its initial position um, opacity in this case will go from 0 to 1 because it's invisible and it's going to be visible afterwards also I like to just make the second animation a bit slower than the first one and the delay will say stay the same so what we can actually do here is just remove those and add it in there just a bit cleaner all right let's see refresh whoops that's not it <laughs> let's see let's see um, duration translate x opacity um, 
actually, yes, we need different um, easing functions. So this one will be ease in expo. And the second one should actually be ease out expo. I think that's what's wrong. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, it's about the easing function. That's important. So ease in and ease out expo. And that creates the animation right there. That's it. <laughs> it's really not that difficult. Let's go ahead and do the uh, second example um, for which we can actually just, uh, let's see, let's see. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Just copy all of that. Um, let's call it link to. And the class will be linked to here as well, right? Yep, that's the second link we're targeting and then letter to as well. And just change that to link to and link to and letter to as well there. Okay, letter to. And that should be it. That should essentially create the same animation for the second link as well. It's not working. Let's see why isn't it working. Link to letter to let's see. Link to letter to link to dot very selected link to link to dot add event listener blah, blah blah. Ah there we go. Link to there we go. Alright, so we have the same animation here. Now um, we can just um, change it up real easily by saying translate y from zero to minus thirty and then translate y from 40 to zero and that would essentially create the same animation but uh, horizontally um, no vertically actually yes vertically there we go that's that and it's actually quite simple so as you can see it's really um, not too difficult um, we could also like go ahead and just take a look at different easing functions so what do we have here <laughs> Let's say if we just let those out, what that would look like. <laughs> it's a little weird, <laughs> but it works as well as you can see. So you can just play around with this, but um, the general kind of concept is just targeting each individual letter and then using a timeline in order to animate those. Um, also make sure to check out the link uh, to GitHub in the description. That's where you can get all of this code and play around with it. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like and leave comments if you learn something or have any question. I'll be um, trying to answer everything. And um, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, stay safe and we'll see us in the next video.